weekend has started guys and look at this track us 36 pretty sharp left-hander lots of banking i don't know if you guys could see it on camera but it's like a bowl it's cut in there pretty deep i'm gonna say probably the most banking we, we race on all year long a little chill we got a uh, like high of 60 today it's been in the 50s most of the day i think lows are in the low 40s so it'll be jacket beanie and uh, glove weather tonight, but we got sun shining, not a lot of wind, and no rain. So, looking forward to tonight. Uh, here to avenge our uh, wreck here last year. So, looking to just qualify good, get in the dash, and, and have a solid run tonight. This track's actually a lot of fun to race at, and uh, looking forward to the challenge. 41 cars tonight, so it's gonna be split A and B. We're in group A, we're the, in the second hot lap session, like right in the middle of group A. So, Looking forward to it, guys. We'll uh, see what happens, and we'll uh, talk to you after the night is over. And we got three-hour drive to Joplin, Missouri, and then one more uh, hour over to uh, Arrowhead Raceway or Speedway, which I hear is a beautiful facility. So we'll see what happens. Cross flags, 18 down, 17 to go for Sheldon Hodge. Sheldon David Gravel is getting closer. 20 shots around Tyler Courtney for third. We work on lap number 20 of 35 at US 36 Raceway. David Gravel getting closer to Sheldon Hodgenshield. Oh, Sheldon gets into the slower car and spins. Sheldon Hodgenshield tangling with Chris Windham and spinning to a stop in turn one. Gravel brings us back to the green flag. Gravel to the bottom, Donnie Shots in the middle, Sunshine up to challenge Shots for second. Courtney to the inside in three and four, Donnie Shots good off the middle there. Abreu fends off Kofoid and now looks again to the outside of the 41 of Carson Macedo. Fifth spot up for Gravel, they make contact, contact between Abreu and Macedo and Abreu sits sideways in turn two. David Gravel accelerates back to the green flag. Tyler Courtney looks to the inside of Donnie Schatz, but gets passed on the inside by James McFadden. Shots second, McFadden third, Kofoid now fourth, McFadden coming after shots for the second spot. Tyler Courtney shuffled back to fifth. Courtney now coming back after Buddy Kofoid for fourth. Can't make it happen in one and two, and now right there is Carson Macedo. Close call in front of the leaders, Chase Park was a little crossed up in turn. Go, oh, car upside down. Red flag conditions, Ryan Timms upside down in turns one and two. Way, US 36 Raceway. 
Buddy Kofoy looks to Donnie Shots for second. Can't make a move in one and two. Kofoy's teammate, James McFadden, challenging for the third position. David Gravel becomes the first repeat winner of 2024. Donnie Shots second and third goes to Buddy Kofoy at US 36 Raceway. David Gravel climbs up top to celebrate his first ever win at US 36 Raceway. Oh, man, I don't know. It was a roller coaster. That first start was really bad, and I fell back to seventh, and luckily there was a red right before everybody crossed the start-finish line, or I definitely wouldn't be winning this race here tonight. So uh, luckily we were able to get a redo there, and, you know, early on I thought like, the inside was not the place to be on the start and fell back to fourth, but um, just kind of searching around with those guys, and we were able to move around and, and get to third and then get to second, and then... Uh, you know, Sheldon got into the lap car there, but I felt like we were right there and could pace them well, and I liked my chances. I wish we got to race it out, but, um, yeah, uh, the guys gave me a really good car. We got Scott here tonight and Hillbilly, but uh, Cody, uh, Zach, and Steven did a really good job. So we had a five-man crew here tonight. They brought us some parts and motors and stuff like that. So I uh, appreciate them taking the drive out and helping us out. But uh feels good to get another win. Uh, man, nine winners and, and nine races is pretty insane. And, uh, you know, ran second the last two nights, so uh, hopefully we can keep this going. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, to make up for last year is, is great. And, yeah, that turn one up top uh, is, is treacherous, and it didn't get as high uh, this time around. They, they had a lot of water on the bottom of one and two, and that was kind of the obvious groove and the safest groove to run it consistently. So I uh, just got to thank everybody at Houston Speedway, Billion Automotive, Jackson Motorplex, um, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation, uh, Impact Signs. Uh, thank you for all you do. And... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a good year. Uh, we stubbed our toe one night, but I feel like other than that, we've been on our game. So uh, Don, Donnie's been running strong too, so I know it's going to be a battle all year long. All right, guys, we got the win tonight here at US 36. It is midnight, and this is leaving US 36. It's been about 40 minutes since the race is over. We got a, we're driving three hours tonight. The next track is four hours away, and it's a parking lot here. So these are the things, right? Have a good night. It's freezing cold, and now you can't get out of the track. You're hungry, you're thirsty, you're tired. We still gotta drive three hours, get a couple hours of sleep, and then get up tomorrow, drive another hour, and then the boys gotta get all the work done. So um, guys did a great job tonight. Zach, David. Scott. Woo! 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 <laughs> Oh, baby <laughs> that's Zach uh, Scott was here who's been my crew guy for the last two out of three years hillbilly was here Cody Steven gave me a great car it was a great night um, qualified not as good as we wanted to I messed up on my second lap that was my fault was able to heat race pretty good Bill Bale I got into a lap car get into the dash and run second it was just our night guys we were just so lucky we had so many lucky things happened to us that fell our way and we took advantage of it we could easily fold it but we had uh, a lot of things happen for us decent dash draw was able to run third in the dash um, terrible first start um, three wide was seventh luckily the caution came out and we didn't complete a whole lap and uh, was able to get back to third and then on the start the outside was the place to be and uh, fell back to fourth and then started picking them off one by one and uh, got the third, got the second, and then Sheldon got into a lap car and was able to inherit the lead and didn't, didn't give it up from there. The track was pretty wet early, then it got slick at the end. I felt really, really tight early, then loose at the end. It just was a roller coaster of a night, a lot of wrecks, uh, a lot of cautions, a lot of reds, open red flags. So uh, just happy it ended and, and we got the job done, guys. We're going to hit the road. Hopefully in the next hour we'll get on the road. If not, I'll be sleeping here in the truck. Alright guys, I just showed you the last clip of the racetrack. These are the pits, all paved. We're here at Arrowhead Speedway in Oklahoma. Beautiful pit area. 
We don't get this very often. So definitely paying respects to the track owner and all they do because this is what the crew guys like and I feel like this is the standard uh, World Vault Law event should be because it's nice for everybody. There is 33 cars I believe tonight. We're in the fifth hot lap session out of seven. So I think I am like 20 second out, something like that. So a little bit past halfway. This track's known to taking rubber and getting slick, so we'll see what happens. New track, short track, real tight, quarter mile. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens, guys. It's a little windy, so the audio is probably not great, but bear with me. We'll see how the night goes. The one with the most points leader from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, Cody Lauderdale, Cobb, Jackson, Lauderdale, puts on a full cubic of TRC transportation, number two of David Gravel. David Gravel in car number two last night, becoming the first driver to Last night's victory, the 90th of his World of Outlaws career. Second lap time now for David Gravel. Quick time, a new track record. 10, 9, 0, 2. 1, 0, 9, 0, 2. Now quick time for David Gravel. The classic is green at Arrowhead. Giovanni Selzy up top, Sheldon Hodge, trying to slide him, can't make it happen. Selzy leads down the back straightaway. Brian Brown works the middle in, turns three and four. David Gravel splitting low, and she heard it crush it. Macedo now come point, tries to make something happen on the inside of the speedway. All over the front stretch here at Arrowhead Speedway. David Gravel to the inside of Logan Schuhart. Schuhart trying to come back at him. Carson Macedo is right there as well. That is the race for the fourth spot behind Giovanni Sumsi, Sheldon Hodges, over Brian Brown. Sheldon to the inside in three and four. A look for the lead on turn number four. Sheldon Hodges leading the fourth circuit. Giovanni Sumsi back to the inside of one and two, but Gio takes the top spot back. Cars getting together on the front stretch. Garrett Williamson and the 83 senior of James McFadden Williamson comes to a stop. Good restart by Giovanni Selzy to pull away from Sheldon Hodgenshield. David Gravel continues his quest to take the third spot away from the 21 of Brian Brown. Gravel to the inside in turns three and four. Brian Brown up on the cushion, side by side, across the line. Brown third as they cross the line, but now David Gravel moves into the spot. Carson Messino clips the wall in one and two. That allows Logan Schuhart to move by. Selzy forges ahead at the midpoint of the back straightaway. Sheldon Hodden showed to the bottom in three and four once again. Heavy traffic in front of the leaders as they cross the line. Selzy still on the point, but Sheldon is right there with him. Giovanni Selzy grabs the cushion out of turn number two. Back around the outside of Sheldon Hodgenshield. Sheldon fighting for the low side. And now Jacob Allen all over David Gravel. Sheldon Hodgenshield the leader on lap number 17. Selzy to the cushion. Sheldon held up by slower traffic down low. Jacob Allen making it a three car battle for the lead into turn one. Allen to the inside of Selzy for second. Jacob Allen second now. Selzy climbs back up the banking in turns three and four. Crosses back underneath, now David Gravel three wide for third. David Gravel, Giovanni Selzy and Jacob Allen, there's contact, and Allen's got a damaged front end. And we come back to green flag action in the Jason Johnson Classic. Giovanni Selzy, a peek to the inside of David Gravel, can't make the move for second there. Carson Macedo all over the 1S of Logan, Schuhart couldn't make the pass for the fourth spot. Sheldon Hodge pulling away slightly from second place, David Gravel. Gravel works lower on the speedway in one and two, but Sheldon maintains that same 10 car length advantage over the Big Game Motorsports number two. Sheldon drifts up the racetrack in turn two. Here comes David Gravel once again. White flag will wave as Gravel works around the outside of the 7S. One lap to go at Arrowhead in the Jason Johnson Classic. Gravel around the outside. Pulls even back straight away for the final time. It'll come down to the final quarter in the Jason Johnson Classic. David Gravel on the outside. Sheldon Hodgson protects and hangs on for the win. David Gravel second. Giovanni Selzy in third. Logan Schuhart fourth. And Carson Macedo in fifth. All right, guys, the weekend is over. We are here at our destination, the Hollywood Casino at St. Louis. 
Uh, the boys got everything washed up today, drove over here about four hours, and uh, what a great weekend at that beautiful facility there on Saturday night, um, Arrowhead Speedway. I was able to go quick time, and the first time we were there, so it was a new track record. Um, was able to heat race well, win our heat, get a six in the dash, which obviously wasn't ideal, but finished six there in the dash as well. It was kind of hard to pass. Uh, then in the feature, was able to get a good start and uh, get the fourth early on, uh, pick off Brownie on the restart to get the third, and then, you know, was able to get the second. And then, uh, you know, track started taking rubber. Felt like I was conserving my tire. Knew there was a couple laps to go and uh, went for the Hail Mary on the last lap and just couldn't get the job done. But first and second this weekend, a great weekend. We couldn't ask for any more than that. Uh, so hopefully we keep this rolling, guys. I feel like the more we race, we're just going to get in the, the scheme of things and uh, get our stuff rolling even better and better. So appreciate you guys for all the love. Please, get, please give this video a thumbs up. Ring the bell for notifications. Please subscribe. Check out shopggr.com for all your merch. And we'll see you next week at Peavely, Missouri. Peace out.